Today, I played the career of Santiago Munoz. And no, 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 no. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking about the guy from Go. Well, it's not him today. But if you guys do want to see Santiago Munoz, let me know down below. Here we have a 66 rated, 18 years old Santiago Munoz. Santiago Munoz is a promising young striker out on loan at Newcastle in real life. But today, we're starting him off at his home club, which is Santos Laguna. So let's go ahead and add a development plan, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, at the end of the first season, in the first half of the season, which is the Apertura, we finish in fifth place. That means we do have to play in the playoff round, which is not ideal, but we still win against Pumas 2 1. Now, on to the quarters, we beat Alas. Now, on to the semis, we beat Tigres 3 2 in aggregate. We're in our first final against Rayados. No way, we win our first trophy. And yes, boys, we have won our first trophy in the first time of asking. Now, on to the second half of the season, which is the Clausura. We finish in a lowly eighth. Another playoff round for us, which we do win 3 1. On to the quarters, which we do lose to Chivas 3 2 in aggregate. In his first season, Santiago Munoz does go up a plus 6 now out of 72. Now, it's time to check his stats this season. How good did he do? And he went ahead and scored 19 goals and one assist. That is amazing to see. It's a great season here for Santiago Munoz, picking up a trophy in his first year of trying. Let's go ahead and go to season number two, and let's see if he can outdo himself next year. With great power comes great big booty bitch. So in season number two, he's still uh, showing great potential. Hopefully that can go up this season. But as for his development plan, last year we did give him poacher. I want to go ahead and keep him at poacher for this year. It's a little old people. We do need him to score a lot of goals, but I promise next year we will change his development plan. But you know what time it is. It's time to sim to the end of the season and I'll see you guys at the end. And at the end of season number two in the Apertura, we did finish in fourth place, which does mean we skipped the playoff round. So on to the quarterfinals where we did beat Tijuana 1-0. Let's go to the semis. We beat Alas 2-1. We're in another final in the Apertura. Can we win another trophy yet? And yes, we have. That's two trophies for Santiago Munoz. As for the Calzura, in the second half of the season, we finished in second place once again, skipping the playoff round. This team is really getting well put together. As for the quarterfinals, we beat Tijuana on aggregate. Semifinals, we lost to Cruz Azul, who eventually lost in the final. I guess you just can't take off the bottle job off Cruz Azul, man. Thank you. But as for Santiago Munoz, it's another plus six out of 78 rated. Last year, Munoz did score 19 goals. Did he go ahead and beat it this season? And yes, he has 22 goals and six assists, his best season yet. And hats off to Santiago Munoz for another brilliant season. I think it's time for him to leave Santa Laguna and go to a bigger club. Let's see what club we will transfer him to next season. With great power comes great big booty bitch. I am very excited to see how Santiago Munoz does in his first Premier League season and we're gonna have to go ahead and give him target man for this season. But let's go ahead and sim to the end and see how he does. So at the end of season number three, Santiago Munoz and Newcastle have finished in eighth place. You know what? I'll take that. As for the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup, let's go ahead and check the FA Cup was won by Southampton while the Carabao was won by City. Now hold on, hold on. Let's rewind a little bit. Burnley has reached the FA Cup final and the Carabao Cup final. How do they keep doing this in my videos, man? Anyways, even though Munoz did not win a single trophy this season, he did go up a plus 5 to an 83. Little by little, Munoz is becoming one of the best strikers in the Premier League. Let's go ahead and check how many goals he scored, and he scored 22 goals and 3 assists, becoming the top goal scorer of the club. It's a brilliant first season for Munoz here, as he was a top goal scorer of a Premier League club. Let's go ahead and see how he does, and season number 4, I'm very excited to see what he brings to the table. With great power comes great big booty bitch. Season number four, Munoz is now the fifth highest rated player in the squad. That is very good to see, but for this season, we're gonna go ahead and give him mobile striker. His current best ever season in any league is 22 goals in one season, which he has done twice. Let's go ahead and sim to the end of the season and see if he can break it once again. And at the end of season number four, Santiago Munoz has taken Newcastle straight into the Champions League places in fourth place. Boys, I was gonna leave next year, but now that they have Champions League football, I'm gonna go ahead and stay at FA Cup. Can he win another trophy? His first trophy here at Newcastle? No, he cannot. Carabao, can he win this one? And no, he's not. Taking a look at Santiago Munoz this season, he is now at an 87 rated. That means we can now start looking at the Ballon d'Ors because he can actually win one now. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the season, his best ever season is 22 goals. Then he go ahead and beat it and oh, he scored 9 goals and 3 assists. A very disappointing season this year. But now that season number 5 is coming, I'm thinking about leaving but I'm thinking about staying. Let's see what I do decide next season. With great power comes great big booty bitch. And in season number five, after thinking a lot, I have decided to transfer this Santiago Munoz and we have gotten an offer from Arsenal. I'm not sure if they're in the Champions League, but I think Arsenal have a way better sign than this Newcastle side, so let's go ahead and join Arsenal. So yes, boys, in season number five, Santiago Munoz has joined Arsenal Football Club. And here at Arsenal, he is the third best player in the squad. Let's go ahead and make him first by adding the double man plan. Let's go ahead and give him complete striker because it's the only one we haven't used. So it's the first Ballon d'Or ceremony of the video in season number five, and who has won it? Yup, Kylian Mbappe. So at the end of season number five, Munoz his first season Arsenal, we do pick up third place. That means we're back in the Champions League. Still only two trophies to his name. Can he go ahead and win a trophy here at Arsenal? Community Shield. Yes, boys, that's one more trophy for him. FA Cup, can we win another one as well? Chelsea win it. And as for the Carabao, it was won by City. But we were in the Europa League this year. Did we go ahead and win it? Make it two trophies in this season? No, we are real have won it. Another trophy to Munoz's locker, and it's another plus three for Munoz. Now at a 90 rated. After having a horrible season last year, only scoring nine goals. How many goals did he get this year? He went ahead and scored 37 goals and three assists 
this is best season ever, man. If a 37 gold Premier League season is not enough for Ballon d'Or, to be honest, I don't even know what it is. But let's go ahead and go to season number six, where he's back in the Champions League and see if he can win it. With great power comes great big booty bitch so we're now in season number six where he is now one of the world's best at 23 years old i'm hoping he can win the ball on door this year but as for the man plan want to go ahead oh he cannot grow that much anymore hopefully he does well and his potential does go up this season but we're gonna go ahead and go for target man this season so it's the second ball on door ceremony of the video let's go ahead and see who won it Kylian Mbappe again yeah Kylian Mbappe is gonna win it every single year so at the end of season number six we did finish in second place we're so close to that league title but as for the epic cup can we win it again and no city have won it as for the care ball, please let's win it and no boys but this is Munoz's first season in the Champions League. Can he go ahead and win it first try? And no, he has not. They lost in the semis, man. However, Santiago Munoz still went up a plus one here at Arsenal at a 91. But it's time to check his stats this season. Let's see if he could be 37 like he scored last year. And he missed it by one. 36 goals and five assists. He's really shining here at Arsenal. I think Santiago Munoz is becoming a one-man team here at Arsenal. So I think it's time to leave Arsenal in season number seven. And let's see what big club we can go to. With great power comes great Big booty bitch. So in season number seven, I have taken an ambitious move to move to AC Milan. And for the first time in this video, Santiago Munoz is the best rated player at a club here at AC Milan. As for the development plan, it looks like he can grow just a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and give him a mobile striker this year. So we're now in season number seven in the third Ballon d'Or ceremony. Please, Munoz, win it. And Mbappe again, three years in a row for him. So at the end of season number seven, Santiago Munoz just cannot win a league title, man. Copa Italia, please, let's win another trophy and Inter Milan win it. Super Cup, worry in it. And no, we were not. We were in the Champions League though. Please tell me we at least won that. And Santiago Munoz has won his first ever Champions League. Let's go, boys. And at the end of season number seven, he is now at a 93 rated, man. But his best every season still remains 37 goals. Did he go ahead and beat it this season? And no, 29 goals and four assists is still amazing though. But we're about to go to the second to last season and we still have yet to win a Ballon d'Or and even a league title, man. Come on, Munoz, step it up next year. With great power comes great big booty bitch. So we're now in season number eight. There are two seasons left. Let's hope he can win a Ballon d'Or. His trophy count is very low, by the way. He only has four trophies in his career. As for the development plan, I think we're gonna go ahead and go for Mobile Striker because it only takes 88 weeks to get to a 94. Okay, it's a second to last Ballon d'Or ceremony. Please, Munoz, take it. And Mbappe has won it like four years in a row. Why does he keep winning it, man? And at the end of season number eight, we have finally won our first league title with Santiago Munoz. Copa Italia, can we win a double? And no, boys. We are in the UEFA Super Cup, though. Can we win two trophies this season? And yes, boys. Boys, that is the UFA Super Cup done. However, can we win back-to-back -back Champions Leagues? And AC Milan has not won it. They lost in the quarters to City. But Santiago Munoz has now reached a 94 rating. But it's time to see how many goals did he score this season. And he went ahead and scored 41 goals and two assists. This is his best season yet, man. Santiago Munoz has now scored more than 200 goals. But he still has one mission left. And it's to win the Ballon d'Or. The last Ballon d'Or ceremony is next season. Let's see if his 41 goals is enough to win it. With great power comes great big booty bitch okay this is the last season season number nine for Munoz let's see if he can still grow and it looks like he could grow just a little bit man so we're gonna go ahead and give him target man this season but boys the goal this year is to win the Ballon d'Or let's see if his 41 goals last year was enough to win it boys it's the last Ballon d'Or ceremony of the video can Santiago Munoz get the one trophy he has not won yet but he does deserve and yes he has his first ever Ballon d'Or in his last ever season man boys it's been such a long time since we have won a Ballon d'Or in a video but we have finally won it once again okay so in season number nine Munoz misses out on the league title here in second place man as for the super copa can we go ahead and win it and yes boys that is one trophy for the season copa italia can we make it two no torino have won it one trophy with his team to his name this season can we win the champions league for a second time man no boys they lost in the final santiago Munoz has finished his career off injured at a 94 rated man but let's see how many goals he scored this season despite being injured and he scored 24 goals still and three assists that is pretty good man but it's time i do read santiago Munoz's final stats started off his career at santos laguna at a 66 rated then went to newcastle then arsenal then ac milan where he finished at a 94 rated for man muñoz this scored 239 goals got 30 assists won seven trophies which is very low compared to all of the other players we've done and won one ballon d'or you know what i'd like to consider this video a success even though he did not win as many trophies as i thought he would but make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy we're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers as soon as possible but if you guys did enjoy this video you guys are definitely gonna enjoy this video right here